up. Good morning, guys. Welcome to our very first day of homeschool, year two. Anyway, this girl's already up. Are you excited? This is what homeschool looks like for us. She's doing grade five math right now, and it starts, the year starts with a refresher. She's just going back, making sure she knows everything. She's got a grueling year. The math program that she has this year is crazy. We use an online program, lots of online programs, but this is the main one that she uses. So first you're gonna watch the video and then do all the questions, right? All right, get to it, high five, sister. Do you wanna eat first? Okay, come and eat. <laughs> she was all ready to start and then she's like, yes, I got an out, I'm gonna eat first. You always learn better when your belly's full, right? I'm using that chair. Yeah, so begins the fighting, you guys. My kids just cannot sit beside each other at the computer desk without fighting occasionally. They don't fight a lot, but they do argue a bit. Right now they're fighting over chairs. Macaroni and cheese for breakfast? No. Happy first day of school. I love your outfit. All sparkly. So he's in grade three now. Sophia, what grade are you in? Three. Grade three. Gabby, what grade are you in? Five. Five. You see the front of your outfit? See how it's like super short at the front? Turn around. And then really long at the back. I love that shirt. Both of our their programs are just doing review for today. For probably the first week at least. They're doing I review. I, I did that last year. Did you do that last and at year? And my school too. Oh, okay. Yeah, so basically what happened when they're like this, they get distracted from each other and it's a bit annoying. I need to get them laptops. We bought them laptops last year, but they were small and it just was hard and dark and hard to use them. So they really need a desktop. And in this sense, we don't really have room for desktop. So yeah, we're just working with what we have for now. <laughs> I love to hear those words. Did you hear her scream and say yay? It's awesome when she like starts school with screaming and saying yay. Yes, I love this. Happy faces watch, on back to school watch. day. It is noon and homeschool is already done for the day for us. Sophie is making lunch. It's the first time she's ever made it. What are you making? Mac and cheese. Mac and cheese and she is mixing it up. She cooked it and everything. Are you proud of yourself? Are you gonna do it again tomorrow? Uh, maybe, but this is just Okay, put it in there. Hey, this is what I made. A horse and grass. Yeah, isn't it cute? I did the best I can. She did her best, but also I have to tell you guys, after the comment of the day yesterday, um, shout out Sunday, a bunch of you guys have been making pictures on that website of Ziggy with different colored tack on and sending it to me. I haven't had time to look at all of them yet, but the ones that I have seen are super cool. I love that. I wish I could print them all out and hang them up because it is super cool, but so far I love them in blue. Sad news about our horseback riding barn. I keep forgetting to tell you guys this, but it's closed this week. So for the very first week of school, kids are always busy doing all sorts of stuff and horseback riding is their least priority this week. So she took this week off and gave the horses a rest, which they deserve a rest. It just sucks that we're not gonna get to go to the barn this week, but hopefully by the time we go back next week, um, we'll know for sure if we're gonna get to Lee Siggy. How do you feel about not being able to go to the barn? Bad, but also kinda good so I can rest. You wanna rest from horseback riding? Yeah, I love it, cause the ball really hurts. Yeah, that, yeah, are you scared? No. How do you feel about the barn being closed this week? Bad, I wanna go. I know, me too. I pinch myself with this marker. Like with the lid? Back on. I've done that before. I feel sad too because literally I've had two lessons and I'm just learning and I feel like my sit bones, do you guys know what sit bones are? Do you know what sit bones are? Bones. Yeah, they're like, I didn't even know what they were called before. And anyway, they are all calloused up now and I don't want them to get soft again so I have to go through the pain. And I wanna take this opportunity this week to do lots of horsey stuff though. Like I wanna go and look at saddles. So I know you guys keep saying you can't buy a saddle without a horse and that's true. We're not gonna buy it yet. We're just gonna look, see what colors. 
yeah, like we need to know what they look like. We need to know what the options are for us. Like we like we're the kind of people that research stuff. Like say I needed a new dishwasher and I said, Sam, we need a new dishwasher. Let's go to the store. I'd have to go to the store, see what they have and come home and research which one is the best one, which one has the options that are work better for me. So we can get a lot of that out of the way before we get the horse. Then when we do get the horse, we'll be able to get a saddle a lot easier. A lot of you guys are also concerned that we're gonna spend money on a lease horse saddle, and I agree, it does kind of seem like a poor expense, but one, we could probably get a secondhand one. Wait till I show you our saddle store. Especially for you guys new, uh, that are new and you've never seen it, it is yeah, like saddle, saddle heaven. Place. Yeah, but one is like saddle heaven. Yeah. And um. Oh, and we have to check out saddle pads. Yeah, so. I know they have pink ones. So there's that. Um, or if we buy a new one, that literally we could just sell it once once we don't have Ziggy as a lease horse. But I don't want to keep Ziggy as a lease horse for a long time. Like, and I think being able to buy a saddle for him will make it seem like he's more our horse and it will make it seem more real to us than using our instructor's saddles. Don't you think, Gabby? Yeah. Like, it would be like something of our own that we can control. You know what I mean? Yes. I just scraped it a little bit. If that makes any sense. But yeah, so we don't mind doing that. And there are other, a few other horsey I things that I want to do this week while we're waiting to hear. You think lunch is ready? Yeah. Right, let's eat. We have to pull over the car because we're having a huge problem in the back seat. It's down the middle. There was a beetle on the back seat. It's in the middle and it's on Sophia. And it surprised Sophia. And let me tell you, I'm surprised. Well, it's no longer around. Wait, wait, wait. I would be surprised if you guys did not hear her screaming. <laughs> Are you okay? It's probably under your mom's seat. Great. Yes, it is. And so Bia flung it with her hand, and then they no. both were screaming. I it with this. Did you? <laughs> wow. How do you guys react? Tell us in the comments below. If you get a bug on you, do you freak out like a maniac or you just brush it away? I think it's dead. No, it's not. It's not. Oh, it's, it's, not, not, it's, not, it's, it's not. It's not. It's not. How did it get back on the seat? No. <laughs> wait. Holy Jesus. It's afraid of a bug that's like <laughs> tiny. <laughs> Gabby, if I had caught you on camera screaming at the top of your lungs. <laughs> Don't you dare open it. Where is it? It's like right a little bit open. Oh my gosh, that's the tiniest bug. Okay, hold on to it. Hold on to it. That's the tiniest bug I've ever seen it's in my life. It's Sam has to get out on the middle of a busy highway. <coughs> Save our kids from the tiniest beetle. Like, I just look over. Oh, there it is. Like, Terror on the highway. Oops. Oopsies. I don't want it. Oh, it. Let's see it, Sam, when you get it. As soon as I get it, you can see it. Oh, get it away. Tiniest bug in the middle of the world. Let's see. That tiny little black bug, beetle. Oh, it's an Asian beetle. Wait. You're afraid of a tiny little beetle. We are at the bridal path. Do you guys have that where you live? Well, this this store sells all the briar stuff. Gabby loves this horse. I love that horse. That's a bronze one. Gabby, is this the horse that you like? Or is it the one I like? Total Ziggy chocolate chip. No, this is Ziggy. Ziggy's brown. Well, the one that I like, I think this one is a The classic. barrel racing? Gabby. That one's cute. I don't know if that's the color. That's pretty though. Look at this. <gasps> Look at this. Ziggy, sparkles. that's gonna be Ziggy's. I don't know. He, Let's he see. All I don't know how we know what size I think we, we should need. Get this for show for Ziggy. <laughs> Not for sure. Yeah, that's too plain, oh, but look at how fancy. Oh, it's not his color. Look at this one. <laughs> his color. Oh, oh my god. This one, I, but it's kind of girly. Mom, this one? I don't like Spencer the Hunter has green. this one, but tinier. Yeah. I don't like that one. And Blue has one. You like this one? But look at this one, Gabby. Is this too girly? Too girly. That's for a girl. Oh, look at this girly lime green one. Oh, uh, look at this lime green. Look. It's either like I like lime green. The colors at our barn are black and lime green. 
All right, so they have like a variety of brushes and stuff, but I don't know. I want to get like nice ones. I want to get ones that all match. These are nice. But the kits are too flimsy and not that nice. This is... That's a cute little bag. So we're going to get everything that matches. They have a basement filled with saddles and everything that you can even imagine. Okay, so these are all the saddles. Oh, this is English? Isn't that crazy? All right, so you take a saddle that you want to try and then you bring it over here and you put it on here and you this try is, it out. Uh, bareback pad. Western. The, well, okay, we were in the Western section. Let's find the English section. Yeah, that's a bareback pad. It doesn't matter what you're doing. So that's the Western section and this is the English section. <coughs> is it comfy? Yeah. Kitty, oh, we're in the English section. Wow, look at how nice this is. $650, that's it. Anyway, then they have this whole section over here that are used saddles. Let's see how much is a used one. This is a 17 inch and it's 250. I don't like any of these ones. Well, this one's cute. Is there two there? They have saddle on top of saddles. That's 600 bucks. So basically I like to come here and figure out, try and figure out what I like. And I don't know, I guess we have a choice between black and brown or suede. Can you guys tell me? Is this suede material beneficial in any way? Because I really like that. You like that color? I don't know. I am like. I think maybe blue. Blue or green? Look at this blue, Gabby. I like green. That blue one goes with him. Somebody sent me a picture of him in blue and it looked yeah, amazing. it's a different color. Yeah, yeah. There's so much to know, you guys. Like, we obviously are clueless. And Fiona's gonna yeah, help yeah. us. And sometimes I post things for you guys even though I know we're gonna get a lot of flack because we don't know anything. But the reason that I do that is because you guys give us the best advice. You guys give us so much information. You guys make us yeah, question things so. that we wouldn't even thought to question before. Like I already know somebody is gonna comment and lead us in the right direction about these saddles. Sam got the opportunity to talk to the guy that worked at the store and he told Sam this really awesome idea of how to measure for your horse it involved taking a coat hanger right yeah you form the coat hanger to the gullet go. then you take that hanger and you put it on a cardboard and you trace the cardboard and cut it out and then you bring that piece of cardboard in and he showed us the adjustable saddles showed sam the adjustable saddles and how it would be more beneficial for us and yeah so i feel so much better like now we just need to know if we get Ziggy. All right, we are headed home and Sam's going back into working for a little bit tonight, so I'm gonna end today's video now. I have comment of the day and it is by Danielle Davis. And she says, well, maybe when he's wild, he will, he will visit you, talking about Bailey. And I just keep thinking, imagine how amazing that would be if one day we were outside in our yard and all of a sudden this big, huge adult crow just came flying in and landed at our feet and we knew it was him. I mean, obviously that's not gonna happen because we took him far from our home and he's not gonna be able to find us, but I just think that would be so amazing. Anyway, we are gonna end today's video and I wanted to say thank you to all of you guys who sent me pictures that you made on that website that I shared last night um, of Ziggy and different colored tack. That was super cool. And don't forget to subscribe. I have some fun extra footage that we took at the barn last week that I'm gonna be sharing in the next few videos, so make sure you um, stay tuned for that, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye! And don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.